Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you how we can transfer photos or videos with preservation of the original date. So let's go. Uh, first is going to be that, for example, if you want to transfer photos or videos or maybe some other files and you want to specifically save the original date of their creation, for some reason, no, uh, I would say uh, there are no original or default functions or features or settings that actually allow us to do that. So basically, by default, every Android phone and maybe even uh, iPhones, but I'm uh, now talking specifically about Android phones, for some reason, they did change the metadata. So basically, metadata is the uh, data inside our photos or files or whatever that actually preserves some of the information and also the information about when or wh uh, where you've taken specific uh, or created a photo, video, or whatever. Uh, and for some reason, for example, I've tried many times as well as many people to transfer, for example, some files, photos, videos, etc., etc., and every single time the date changes to the date when you've uh, transferred this uh, file, not when it was created. So basically, for some reason, this information just is lost every single time. And now I wanted to show you one method that I found that actually helps us to transfer basically any file with the preservation of the original date. So basically you need to uh, actually follow the link in the description to uh, go to, t to the Telegram app. A and on my channel, I've created a post where you can uh, download this specific application, uh, uh, which is called Me Explorer. So basically this is a file manager that allows you to transfer uh, transfer files but with the preservation of all the metadata so basically you uh, you can transfer photos or videos with the original date so basically uh, in my uh, search this is actually the only way of how we can do this without actually any kind of specific rights or maybe some uh, kind of uh, very complicated convoluted settings and so on and so forth. So basically you just need to download this uh, application and follow my steps in this video. So uh, after you've downloaded this specific application to your Android device, we just need to enter it. Uh, then uh, actually we need to grant access to all of our files. I did this. And so then you you just need to find a specific folder or maybe some, uh, a, uh, yeah, actually folder. And for example, with photos, videos, or maybe mix of them and so on and so forth. And so basically the operation actually consists of uh, you and for example some other device maybe other uh, another android phone or maybe uh, some other device actually that uh, can have um, this specific file manager so basically you cannot unfortunately do this uh, with your pc or maybe a laptop we just need our phones and so basically you need to have this specific file manager and uh, a device that you uh, want to transfer your photos or videos to and so basically after you've downloaded the specific file manager to both uh, or some other number of devices, we need to create an archive. So basically, this is the only way of how we can transfer uh, reliably. So basically, I'm going to show you an example. I'm going to choose uh, several files. So as you can see, uh, some of them were taken or created several years ago and so on and so forth. And if I've tried to just transfer this specific file by some kind of Bluetooth or maybe uh, by social media like Telegram, unfortunately, when I download this specific file into my device, the uh, date will change to, for example, current date if I'm going to do this today. Uh, but if I want to specifically transfer the specific file with the preservation of all the data including the original data of creation I just need to choose for example you can choose every single file or uh, I'm gonna choose for example several of them if you want to, for example, choose uh, all of the files in a specific folder, instead of just manually selecting every single one we just can, can tap at the right uh, as you can see a bottom corner here at the square and you can see all of the files has been have been chosen. After this, we just need to go uh, tap uh, these three dots and tap on archive. This uh, actually will create, as you can see, task. Then we need to go into task list here, and you can see archive not started. So we need to tap on here in order to um, uh, 
some settings, enter, and then start archiving uh, the files th that we've chosen. Then we just need to tap, for example, you can change the name of the specific archive. Then uh, we can choose, for example, several, as you can see, uh, variations of these archives. I choose the most standard one, zip, and you can also choose this one. And also we have, as you can see, uh, I would say the power of archiving. So basically, I've uh, actually checked normal, maximum, uh, and basically they work pretty much the same, but I'm still choosing maximum because this uh, actually saves a little bit more memory. So basically, especially if you want to transfer a lot of different files. And after this, you can very simply, as you can see, enter a key uh, and so on and so forth. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do this. And so I'm going to create archive here. Now, archive is created and as you can see now it's created then what you need to do is you need to take the specific archive and transfer it through bluetooth or maybe some other way social media actually anything you just need to get the specific file into another device uh, specifically this archive after this this is the most important thing you do not actually need to create the specific zip file inside this specific application you can use any other file manager and so on and so forth but only this file manager can allow you to open this specific uh, archive and preserve all the dates. So basically, I, for example, checked uh, what if I am going to create a zip uh, archive and then open it through my standard system file manager. And unfortunately, my uh, my uh, inside Xiaomi phones, for example, uh, or maybe actually any other a file manager will actually change the original date so unfortunately it does not work but if you're going to for example let's mention that i've downloaded uh, for example, uh, this specific or just God, this is my uh, second device. And for example, I now have this archive. Then I just need to extract all of the files from the specific archive. We can just tap on here. Uh, also, you can just tap on here and actually see what's inside this archive. This is very uh, actually... Uh, easy and very helpful. So uh, next we need to tap specifically on this archive then these three dots and extract uh, and as you can see added to the task list so as, you, as, as usual we need to tap on here and not start it we need to start this so as you can see we can uh, choose for example extract into separate folder if you want to for example uh, extract it to somewhere else or we can just extract it to current folder so as you can see it's very simple for example i'm gonna uh, choose uh, to separate folder i'm gonna tap on oh, as you can see, and now I've created a several uh, folder here. And so let's check, for example, so as you can see, several files right here, and you can check the dates. And now I'm going to go inside and let's see for ourselves, uh, did this application change the dates or it did not. So let's go and see. And you can see none of the dates have been changed. So basically, uh, if these were, for example, photos or videos, you can just go straight into your gallery. Uh, and none of the dates will be changed. The basically, this is an amazing way that actually works in order to transfer uh, different files, actually any kind of file, and uh, actually preserve its metadata, including uh, the data of its creation. So basically, here how very simply it works. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video and you found it helpful. If you have, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to get notifications about my new videos.